90 seconds on the clock. Tyler Wright looks like she will commit and use priority to take this right. Let's see if she can fit it into the top two now. Big hack to start, showing her power off the lip. Tyler jams one in the whitewater and now has some speed to burn on the inside corner. Now it's up to Gilmore. Layback hacked for the six-time world champ. Nice top turn car. She can't afford any mistakes on the inside corner. Snap and carve right in front of Tyler. And now she's got a little end section to work with. She'll tap it shut. Gilmore feeling the heat down to 50 seconds. Well, we got what we wanted. A nice two-wave set. Take a look at the replays here and really start to dissect it now. If Tyler Wright betters the 637, which I feel like my first impression looking at it as she's done that, you know, she puts it into that seven point range. As you see the replay here of Steph Gilmore now, this is definitely her best way by a long shot. Nice, powerful snaps on the outside. Again, these type, this type of surfing has been getting her into the excellent range and even into the nines. And again, she needs an 887. That's before we see the score from Tyler Wright. She loved it, little finger snap. But again, I think uh, if we look at Tyler Wright's now, first wave of the set, you know, Tyler or uh, Stephanie did her job by making her get this wave, but the surfing that Tyler Wright did here was amazing. You know, I think that that's going to rival her 8.5, and you're really going to see Tyler Wright take this win here. I don't see um, her having the ability to turn the heat here with this last moment. It's over. Two surfers with a lot of respect for each other. Yeah, Shake girl. this one off. Good job. They're already celebrating, feeling like they know the decision as well, but we'll wait to make it official. Tyler Wright looking to improve on a 637. She will do that, just like you were thinking, Pete. That was the best wave for Gilmore. It might even be the best wave of the final, right on the last minute exchange. So see how close these finals end up being. It looked like the feeling of Tyler running away from it. Tyler had to serve well on her first wave, 8-6-3. Tyler, Stephanie Gilmore's last wave, 9.13. So it's not enough to get the lead change from Gilmore. Tyler Wright makes it official and is your Swatch Women's Pro Champion in 2016. Now with a chance to close out the world title race as early as Kashkaish. So cool. As we let these two celebrate here. Great finish. I mean, we exactly what we wanted to have a nice two-way set. Let their surfing perform to the end. Tyler Wright did it one more time. He gets her first win here at the Swatch Women's Pro. See how heavy it is to compete against a six-time world champ for Tyler. She had to perform on that last exchange because Gilmore would have had the score on the wave behind her. What a great way to close this one out. Tyler Wright, our champion, will continue that celebration and get underway with the Hurley Pro Final. We'll bring in Ronnie Blakey and Ross Williams for the call.